Hillary. Uh, she lives really close to my hometown, like five minutes away. <laughs> anyway, uh, she is in Mona, I'm in Nephi. So I'm so happy that Carrie is letting me show you guys this cut. Um, she wants it like, what's her name? Jennifer Kidwood. Thank you. <laughs> I just forgot it, I just asked her again. Anyway, so thank you. So we are going to cut it like hers, and I'm really excited because we're gonna start with the number four clipper in the back. Um, that's what I just did too, and it feels so good. If you want short and easy, just go for the number four. <laughs> anyway, so uh, number four here on the bottom, And then I'll take, um, you know, around her ear a little bit shorter. And obviously take that with the clippers around. Um, and what's fun is with a cut like this, and I'm not going all the way up here like a guy, just to about here. Um, everybody thinks that when you do, not everybody, I shouldn't say that, but some people think when you use a clipper that, oh, it's a guy cut, masculine, whatever. It's so, so not. We are going to texture this and soften it up. Um, and she doesn't use a lot of product. She just has it soft and kind of to the side, really cute. So I will show you guys that in a little bit, but I just wanted to clarify that we are going to make this really soft and super cute and easy, right? We're all about easy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, so. Now the top, how much are you wanting off about? Probably just, just the... Just what you need to. It yeah. doesn't have to be a lot. Yeah, texture's the main key here, guys. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to come in. Definitely point cut into this cut, okay? You don't want any harsh lines. Um, when you hear, like, a haircut that's soft, you want lots and lots of texture and lots of different lengths. And then of course I'll go in and I'll, I'll blend all this in a minute. I just like to cut the top first and then we'll blend the sides. So you can see she's still gonna have some fullness through here and then I'll just blend down here. So it's still full, but it's tight. So you don't have to deal with that. Okay, and then just texture up here. Yeah, this one is really, really fun cut. It's great pixie for a soft look. Um, she has a lot of hair. She definitely, definitely has a lot of hair, which is so nice for you, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so good. She has healthy hair too. Okay, now this front, I'm holding out front like this, just so there's a little bit of extra length on that front. Um, so it's not, you know, cut up. So we have some length to kind of push to the side. So I hold this out front like that. Okay, now, and yes, yeah, she has a gorgeous face to have this cut also. Okay, I'm actually going to come around this way, you guys, sorry. Um, so you can see how I'm gonna texture her bangs. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna take a little slice, I'm gonna move over some hair, take a little bit, move over, just so it's different lengths in there, okay? You don't want just a bang the same length. <laughs> sorry, you have hair on your <laughs> face. <laughs> I'll blow dry it off in a second. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna look at her in the mirror for a second. Okay, then I'm going to take my razor through this area just a tiny bit, just so it gives it a little bit of soft movement. And if your razor is new, do not press hard, <laughs> whatever you do. Just do it a light, Okay, then I'm gonna lift the hair up here and use the razor also. Just through this area. It's gonna give up lift. Um, now, the thing is, is she doesn't love a ton of volume, so I was way excited to show you guys this cut because I've had people wanna see the pixie, 
but a ton of my ladies want like the spike full up top and hers is more of a soft um i mean she likes it fuller but not like up you know what i mean so i'm really excited to show you guys this haircut okay i'm going to blend this area okay i bring my comb in and then kind of out a tiny bit you can see like it's not flat to her head and it's not clear out it's just kind of out a little bit so i didn't mean to push on your head <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. you're like wow okay i'll put my head here <laughs> Okay, so you can see I'm just kind of going up and then I'm going to take my texturizing shears and really go in and blend that also. You can see, and you can just watch the line kind of disappear when you do this. And of course we want a little bit of length back there. That's why I stopped down here. So we can, you know, just blend this this way so see so you can see sometimes I go up like this sometimes I go sideways like this okay same with her sides and the other thing I like to do when I blend is definitely, I mean, you can see it this way, obviously looking in on it while you blend, but I love to double check and look in the mirror from the front. And let me just kind of show you. Okay, so I'm looking here in the front. So it's looking pretty blended, if, if you can see what I mean. So it's not like poking out here. Um, now, what I wanna do is take my texturizing shears and go, I'll, I'll go through here too, but just through your sides where you blended, it's really good to take your shears, your thinning shears, texturizing shears through that area. That just really blends those areas. And if you ask Carrie, if you have, now, you know how I did the razor? I don't need a ton of this up here, but I'm just gonna come in about a half an inch up and cut just a little bit more in there. Okay, anyway, if you ask Carrie, a short haircut needs texture, right? <laughs> if not, you're gonna, it's just gonna lay flat. And look like a boy. Yeah, then it'll look masculine. We don't want that. So if you just texture, texture, the more texture, the better. So I'm just gonna turn her and make sure that this is okay, that it's all blended well. Okay, then, just gonna put her head down here. And I'm gonna kinda go with her hairline. You can see how it kinda V's like that. I'm just gonna kinda go with her hairline. And bring that up some. Okay, now if they do have a cowlick or a way that it, you can see how it's coming together there, you can come back in with a comb and just go over that area to make sure you have the length off. Sometimes there can be little stragglers. Okay, now her ears. I'm just gonna move her ear. And we wanna just clean this up so it's tight. And then we're going to come up on an angle. And just cut this angle. So you can see how it's an acute point. Okay, all right, now this area, same thing. Just gonna come back here. Take this hair away from her ear. Doing good, Carrie? Yep. Okay, <laughs> good deal. Good deal. Okay, same thing here. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm taking this a little bit tighter just around the ear. Just bring that comb in, push it a little bit tighter here. Because that's, I swear that's the worst when you get your hair cut short is if it comes over your ears after it's not by your ears, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the way we're going to style this is a little bit of root lifter. Like I said, she bites a little bit of volume, but not ton. So we're gonna do that with a tiny bit of mousse. Just shake that, just one squirt, that's it. Rub it in your hands. Okay, and then I'll show you how to dry it. Now the hair will get off your face. <laughs> it is. That's good. <laughs> so yeah, just go back and forth with your fingers. And then if we need to do finishing touches with the shears, we will. If not, she'll be good to put some stuff in it. And do that. So... That's the nice part, right, Carrie? It takes two minutes to dry. <laughs> to um, ask my clients to fill it after I cut it to see if it's short enough. I did that um, usually when it's wet or dry. So go ahead and try that one more time to see if that's, yeah, it's good. Does that feel right? Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now, so there I say, so yeah, <laughs> it's just me, just saying. Okay, I'm going to take the oil, rejuvenate oil, and I'm gonna take two drops. Actually, I'm gonna do three for her. And then I'm just gonna rub this in and then just bring it through her hair. <laughs> they want you, Gary. Sorry. They <laughs> do <You're> fine. <laughs> hey, it's live. Everybody's phones are ringing, right? Okay, let me just see here. Okay, now what do you feel? Do you feel like you need your bangs um, more texture? Just kind of play with that and see. Sorry, can you see? I can lift it up a tiny bit. Maybe just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. We're just going to piece these out a little bit more so she has a little bit more movement here. My arm's in the way. I'll come this way, guys. <laughs> there goes that hair on the face again. <laughs> Poor Carrie. Okay, I think what we'll do also is take a little bit of clay to just piece out the front a little, um, just to show off that texture. And you can lift it up a little or whatever. You don't have to have it straight down, but she doesn't like it up and big. Does that feel better? Mm -hmm. That about right? Yeah. Okay, can you turn her around, you guys? Yay, Carrie looks so <laughs> cute. I love it. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And Carrie, thank you for letting us videotape your sweetheart. <laughs> and gorgeous cut on you, by the way. Thank you. And go ahead and go on my uh, email list. I would love to have you sign up to get all my tips and tricks and my deals. So have a good day, you guys. See ya.